sometimes in situations outside of the hospital, when someone is having symptoms of a heart attack, their heart can go into an abnormal rhythm. And that abnormal rhythm can cause them to pass out and their blood pressure to drop. And in that situation, you potentially would need to perform CPR on these patients. What we're trying to do with CPR is, in effect, mimic the heartbeat and moving blood through that has oxygen in it to make sure that we maintain oxygenation of the brain. Because within just a few minutes of the heart stopping, you start having death of brain cells. Effective CPR is one of the greatest skills that you can have to be able to help somebody that is potentially having a heart attack or some other cardiac event. Hands-only CPR, meaning not giving rescue breaths, is incredibly effective because of the oxygen that is still left in the blood, even though the patient may not be breathing. And what you need to do is basically just keep a rhythm of compressions going because that in and of itself will provide oxygen to the brain until a, an EMS crew or someone else can come and assist you. Hands-only CPR is just that. It's only providing compressions. That's something that you can learn by going to a CPR class. That's either put on by you know, the American College of Cardiology or by the American Red Cross. But for those of you who may have no experience or little, little, little experience, find basically the center of the chest between the two pectorals right over the breastbone and not up by the neck, not down to the belly, just right in the middle. And you're going to use the heel of your hand and you're going to put that heel of your hand right in the center of the chest. And then you're going to either put one, the second hand over or interlock. Then lock those arms, a little bit of bend maybe, and push hard. I still use something that I was taught long ago, which is the old Bee Gees song, Staying Alive. That cadence to that song will keep you going at about 100 compressions per minute.